Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the Antac Blades Minuteman. Uh, I think this is a pretty awesome blade. I uh, highly recommend it. I just want to talk through some of the features of this knife, uh, what I think about it, how I see it fitting in, and lastly, maybe we'll do a little compare and contrast. So, first things first, the blade itself. We'll see we have a nice flat pommel, so you can cap the hook as appropriate for helping you draw. It fits excellently in both reverse grip and we'll bring it over in forward grip, right? But I see this is more of a reverse grip blade. The texturing on the G10, I think, is pretty good. I got the sterile model, uh, nice wide flat blade, little swedge up near the tip. Of course, it's razor sharp. We'll talk about what it comes with now. So this is the standard sheath. Uh, it has a nice discreet carry clip. It takes the blade either way, both edge forward or backwards. It has a ferro rod here, and it has a Velcro pocket on the back. However, you can also order it with a very nice low profile sheath. And this is the one I've been carrying it with, as you can see, a little wear. So it has no ferro rod, no Velcro, and it's just a little bit thinner. So my day-to-day -day, you know, urban existence uh, I don't really need a ferro rod, so I just don't have it there. This also conceals a lot easier. I also get uh, this kind of storage sheath with a trainer. So aluminum trainer, again, the same style scales. So it feels identical in the hand. It's just a little bit lighter. Then let's line these guys up, and we'll see. It is just a wee bit shorter. So that's good. It helps you train just to go a little bit, a little bit deeper. Which doesn't hurt. Everyone likes that. I really like this knife. Uh, I did not like the size of the Northman. It's just a little small for my hand. Uh, I'm also not really a fan of the pocket carry. I like running it either on my uh, belt on the left side or kind of more center line uh, so I can get to it with my left hand. Uh, this also is a really good size, I think, for a carry on a plate carrier. Uh, it's short enough to be able to draw quickly from the vest and not bring a long pole past your own neck. Uh, and it also can get kind of most of what you would want done in a overt capacity. My only issue with this on a vest would just be how wide the sheath is. Right, it's going to take up some real estate there, uh, which is kind of why I go with the, the Dynamis uh, for that application. And then we'll see the Dynamis versus the Minuteman. Pretty similar. Uh, an overall size, I think the Dynamis might be just a little bit longer, right? But it is a lot thinner, right? So you can do some good slicing with this one, but the narrow profile of the Dynamis is going to pay off uh, for other applications. I also see the Minuteman is a good balance kind of between the Dynamis and the Rat. So the Rat, I love as an everyday knife, right? But again, a little small, very, very thin. Again, everyday knife really pays off. Um, however, for more like prolonged field tasks that might come up, if that's something that you have in mind, uh, this is going to be a much better choice. And this is also just, just a teeny bit bigger. So let's compare those two. We'll see. Right, it isn't so much the length that is bigger, but just the overall profile of the knife. So I see these three kind of fitting in a similar role, but kind of uh, going to a different avenue, if you will, whereas the Cryptos, kind of single-use application, nice big blade. Now let's compare the Cryptos from Headhunter Blades to the Minuteman, right? much, much bigger knife. So I'll put that one off to the side. In my, in my mindset, I see these three knives as kind of a nice, like, continuum. So I have my everyday carry knife. I can carry it in pretty much any attire. It's very low profile. Uh, it can get in there as needed. It's very, very sharp, of course. Uh, and it's also a little bit unassuming if I want to pull it out and do some mundane tasks with it. If I want a bigger knife, but I don't want to carry a double-edged blade that's a little more aggressive looking, I can go with the Minuteman, right? It's a bigger knife, but it's not uh, kind of a straight dagger profile. And then if I'm just going over it on the vest, I can roll to the Dynamis. I really recommend you know, any of these knives to you guys. I think they're all really phenomenal options. Again, they all kind of fit in their own niche. 
Uh, I really, really do like the Minuteman. I think this knife is a really good balance. I think it fits a lot of applications really well. And I think lastly, that the sheath system also kind of makes this a very, very diverse option. So your everyday carry, and you go into the field, you take your family camping or whatever, you got something that can get you home and do whatever you need to do uh, out there, whether it's, you know, the urban jungle or otherwise. Any questions, let me know. I look forward to your comments. I think this is going to be uh, a great blade for anyone. Thanks.